Warning, you've never seen anything like this before. The following program is intended for mature audiences. This program contains alcohol and strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. Big trips, bitch, don't let it take you. Yeah, yeah. I'm due for a big case, all you bitches say. I'm first class, take a nigga fully paid. We want trips, twice and private jets. And we're land, no respect, no sex. Nope. And I got my purse to bartender too. She's top notch, she fit in with the crew. It's actually a two-for-one special, boo. Ooh, so I forgot, that's my job for two. Wrestle, wrestle, everywhere I go. Find when it dies, she keep it on the low. I wear plain hats, eyes you can see. You need mama strong, get her icy. Ooh. You ain't saying shit, you're acting spicy. <laughs> Welcome to Amberella's World, the official bartending show where getting lit is it because this is as raw and unscripted as it's going to get. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Amberella, and oh my God, I got Mike Nasty with me today. Literally the biggest boss that I know and literally the biggest nigga I know because I'll be like, Mike! <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. You good? It's a pleasure, man. It's always a pleasure, man. Anything for Umbrella, man. You see? That's the type of time I be on. That's my dog, man. <laughs> That's a fact. We go way, 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 way. Oh, my God. Like fat crayons and number two pencils. Remember them pencils with no erasers? We go back like that. <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be the best interview, y'all. Oh, my God. And we get to get drunk. And we get to get drunk. For free? Let's go. Oh, my God. Yep. God is good. <laughs> I swear. He'll do it. Won't he, won't he do it? He'll do it. Won't he do it? Oh, my God. Bro, you got to tell me about your transition to Columbia. Oh my God! So Columbia. you back and forth, right? Yeah, I come once a month. I come once a month to the USA for a week. Yeah, by and like that's a week. it. Then you leave by us. Like yeah, and I leave y'all. And I leave y'all. But I mean, listen, Essen, I, I I come back. That's the main thing. I come back. I definitely come back. All I right. never forget where I come from, man. It's Harrisburg, man. It's my hometown. So man. what made you? What made you do that? What made you choose Columbia? So so, I want I wanted to I wanted to present a challenge to myself, man. I wanted to go somewhere where nobody knew me. You know what I mean? Like nobody. I didn't have to, to, to like pretty much like start over, over because, you know what I mean? You know, I already, as far as financial wise, I was good. But yeah. so that part, you know what I mean? I had out, but I wanted to, to go somewhere where nobody knew me and I wanted to present myself with a challenge, you know, with age comes wisdom. So to go to another country in a language that you don't even speak and to make music, that makes you an actual music artist. You know what I mean? Not That's beyond a rapper. Right. You know, that makes you an actual music artist. And, you know, and, you know, by the grace of God, I was able to do it. Now, I didn't expect for it to go, you know, as fast as how it was going to go. But that's the thing about, like, the Latin community, man. The Latin community is, like, very powerful, man. Because, you, you know, you're talking about not only Colombia, Mexico, Spain, uh, Venezuela, right. Argentina. You know what I mean? It's a big, broad market, you know what I mean, for, for Latin music. So... And it was just went from there, man. I hooked up with one of the biggest artists down there, uh, Pipe Calderon, and we just clicked, man. We in the studio, and we made that that banger, and it just went from there. Bro, you like a boss down there. Yeah. So, I need to know about this restaurant. Oh, my restaurant? Yes, he got a restaurant. <laughs> Y'all tell him you already. Yeah, like, what? Yeah. Uh, so, I opened up a restaurant down there. It's called the Rain Cloud Cafe. So, it's pretty much American cuisine, like American soul food, and... um. And it has some Colombian food also as well, but it's uh, it's pretty much like it rains a lot in Medellin or whatever too. So it's kind of cool, man. Like the lights is like rain clouds and shit. Like like I, I did it, I did it good. But I created jobs, you know what I mean? You know, I'm all about hope. Yeah, so, you sure are. So I created jobs, man. And a lot of people don't know because you know some people think that you know because of when you get to a certain status, they don't think that you hands on, but I'm hands on at all my businesses, man. Like I go into any one of my dealerships. I ain't got no problem cleaning the car, changing oil. Yeah. You know, I, I don't have no problem going to my restaurant. I went live. I was in a restaurant, you know, I was in there cooking with my boy. I was teaching him how to make a chicken cheese steak. So I don't have any problem. Like, you know, being hands on right. with my businesses. And that's a good thing. Cause you want to know all the ins and outs and aspects of your businesses, mm -hmm. man. So, and that's something I always wanted to do. I always wanted to do a restaurant. So I'm not one of them stupid people, man. That, take money and and blow it on stupid shit you yeah know what I'm saying? like i'm not in the clubs while and all crazy Maybe. and buying i'm not into that type of shit you know what i mean like like i feel like i'm the party you know what i'm saying so i don't need to Definitely. to do that to to have other people you know what i mean so but yes yeah, it's, it's it just went from there man now i'm looking for a spot too i want to do a, a salon like a beauty salon spa Oh, so I'm looking so for a spot down there too to do that, man. So now food in the salon. Two of the biggest things that you have right now. Listen, I'm just trying to leave a legacy. Food in the salon. Make it look good. Yeah. <laughs> so the rest of mine, you sell chicken there? Of course I'm black. I gotta sell chicken. That's like a rule. Chicken wings? Everybody knows that. You gotta do that. You can't be black and not sell no chicken. Mike, I gotta know. This What's is that this is the question right here. Okay. 
Do you prefer drums or flats? Oh, shit. This is pressure. Mm. Is it? I, all right. Now, hold up. Listen. In my defense, in my defense, in my defense, I like to eat both. However, however, I would probably say the drums only on the, the wing dings because it's more meat and I can just, you know what I mean? With flats, it's just like a lot of work. You got to break it apart and it's just a lot of work. So I like, I like, what about you? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. What you like? Flats. Flats? I'm why you like that? You know why? Why? Drumsticks are big. Mm-hmm. And they're bulky, and they're hold on. We're not talking about the, we're not talking about the big drum. We're talking nope, about the, the wing dings. That's not bulky. bro. I don't like that. You know why? That's what I found out last night. I was eating chicken wings, right? And I'm the flat girl. I eat all the flats. Mm -hmm. The drumsticks <laughs> keep heating for a long time. What you mean? I was already done with my flat. So you didn't eat none of the drumsticks at all. No. Wow. But guess what? Guess what? The difference is between the flat eater. And the drumstick eater. What? I'm already gonna be done with my flats before you don't your drumsticks <laughs> because the heat stays in there so damn long. You know what I get criticized on a lot? You still blowing your food. I don't eat all the chick like you know some people eat everything on the fucking <laughs> on the chicken and shit. You know what I mean? So I don't never finish everything on the chicken. So you know what I mean? My fuckers be like, like why you ain't finish the wing? But I mean I know people that like eat every damn thing, every part of the chicken, like the whole they suck the like everything on the chicken. I can't do that. I don't. I just gotta eat like the meat part, and that's it. So it'd be like mad meat on right, like the Right, I watch them like this. Like yeah, there be not, no gristle or nothing yeah, on it. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. No, I can't do it. I get judged a lot for that though. Bro, I'm not doing that. Yeah, in Colombia, so they eat, they eat everything on like, like when they make like hot dogs and shit, it'd be everything on there. Like they'll put fucking ketchup, mustard. Uh, it's called a quail egg. Uh, yeah. I think I just heard about them. Yeah, it's, it's it's crazy. They got some good dishes though. They got some good dishes. And it's a beautiful country. A lot of people are scared to go because of the whole Pablo Escobar yeah. thing, whatever. But it's it's a it's a beautiful country. You know what I mean? I mean, I I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I do have security that's with me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, gotcha. but it's 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 definitely a beautiful country, man. If you've never been there, like you really, really, really should should consider going there. Like it's really a beautiful country to visit. There's a lot know. of things to see. Yeah, seriously, man. So, Mike, we gonna get back to your rap name, mm -hmm. Mike Nasty. Where did it come from? Oh God. What's nasty about it? Oh God. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's, it's, it's not a sexual, it's not a sexual thing. That's the first thing everything, everybody think about it, everyone. So, you know, back then it was like, you know, like, like you nasty on the mic type mm -hmm. thing, whatever like that too. But I was like, you know, anything I do, like I'm just nasty with it. I'm sick with it. You know what I mean? Like right. even to this day, like if I go on business, like I put my all into it. You know what I mean? I'm nasty. Yeah. I'm sick with it, man. So that's where the whole Mike nasty thing came into play, man. What made you get into music? I mean, long, long, doing, long time ago. Yeah, I've, been, I've been doing music, man, since sheesh, like since I was in school, right. man. Like I was, I was in, uh, you know, I formed a group um, called NRL National Rap League here, and um, you know, and we, uh, we pretty much like, I want to say we dropped like one of the hottest albums, like in the area, man. I mean, there definitely was a lot, man. Like you know, like uh, the pressure, my man. Shout out to my man P Thug. You know, Shorty Hell and them. There was a lot of a lot of good albums that came out. But as far as group wise, man, yeah. Um, besides even like CCT, I want to say, man, we dropped like one of the hottest albums. So um, wait, so how many was it? It was it when well, NRL was you know me, Candyman, uh, Cuban. You know, then you got Agony uh -huh. and then uh, Jim Beans, which are our producers, and okay, you know, Agony, he's a Grammy nominated producer. Jim Bean, same. You know, you do all the music for Empire and stuff. So we just right. been doing music for. You know, for so long, man, like, it's just, it's like in our blood, you know what I mean? Right. And, like, for me, it's just, I'm not going to say I got tired, like, with the hip-hop type thing, whatever, but, again, it was, like, all about a challenge to me, you know what I mean? So, and I ended up having to learn Spanish from being there, so it was just a challenge to me. That was amazing to me, Mike, because yeah. when I was in school, I'm talking, what, maybe high school, they were like, once you get older, it's hard to learn a different language. Let me tell you, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all a secret real quick. So... If you ever watch like Netflix mm -hmm. and, and movies, whatever, your brain subconsciously absorbs information. So what you do is you put the subtitles in Spanish. You don't even have to pay attention to it, literally. And when you're watching the movie, because you already know English, it's a natural, it's natural to you. The same way like when a baby grows up, whatever, nobody sits there and teaches a two-year-old, three-year-old English. It just automatically understands and learns right. it. But your brain subconsciously absorbs that information. 
And then you'll just start knowing words without you even knowing them because you're associating it, what you're watching on screen to what's on the bottom of the screen without you even paying attention. That's how I literally learned a lot of Spanish from literally watching like movies. And I just put subtitles on in Spanish and I just started to like absorb it. I must be dumb yeah, it's, because it's, it's, it's even crazy. when they're on, I'm like, um, yeah, I'm serious. Try to what put, is the, this? put the subtitles on any movies. Like if you got HBO Max, Netflix, just put subtitles on in Spanish. Don't even think about it like it's nothing and put it on in Spanish. I swear to God. And eventually you'll, I mean, I'm not saying you're going to be fluent like that or whatever, but you're going to be, you're going to start to learn and know more and more and more. Yeah. I'm serious. Or vice versa. Watch the movie in Spanish. And I mean, most people don't want to do that, but, and then put English subtitles on, but you'll just start to just absorb it and you'll learn it. Right. You'll learn Spanish fast, man. You smart. You smart, smart. All right, like, I'm going to try. Mm-hmm. Because, whoo. Yeah. Why do you think niggas move out the hood when they make it and move into mansions? But they love the hood so much. They wrap it all the time. So why'd you move out of it? All right. I want to know. This is, what I, this is my theory, right? Mm-hmm. You can only go but so far in the hood. It's only but so far you can get in the hood. And you got to remember something, man. Like, people don't support you fully until you make it. You know what I mean? So it's one of the things that, like, you know, I believe in speaking real, man. Like, a person, you can do whatever, and especially with our own kind, like, it's so much power that we can do with each other, but people are so busy hating on one another and mm-hmm. and, and and being negative against one another that they don't even realize, like, the effect of what that's causing them to the point that when that person actually make it, they're like, oh, you know, he's from here. That's my... It's, it's like... So I guess in a person's mentality, you know what I mean? Once you do make it and you have that, I'm not saying you fully distancing yourself, whatever, but you know, you want to, you want to be better. You want to provide better. You know what I mean? Especially like if you're a parent, you know, you don't want your, your kids to see whatever you see. You know what I mean? You want your kids always to be better than you. Right. That's, that's, that's one of the main things. Like you always want your, your, your kid to be, or children, you always want your children to be better than you, man. So, you know, you don't want your kids to have to grow up in the hood or the projects, whatever. I mean, sometimes it's mm-hmm. not by choice, whatever, but you know, whenever that comes along, you know, you want to get out of that situation. So. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to do it. I grew up in the hood, man. I, I, I just, I wanted to make it a point that my daughter never seen the type of things that I seen growing up. Yeah. So I wanted to work, I wanted to work hard to make sure I accomplished that to do that, man. All right. Well, I get that. Now, <laughs> this is what I think about. So you moved to the mansion, right? Mm-hmm. And then you have parties mm-hmm. and the music real loud. Mm-hmm. Your neighbors will complain because yeah. they these little bougie neighbors, right? Mm-hmm. But if you stay in the hood, your neighbors will come over and knock on the door. They be like, hey, can I come and set up? Look, I'm complaining. That's 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 true. That's true to an extent. You know what I mean. But then, um, I mean, because you know, like, I mean, you you've been to my 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 parties, man, at my crib. But like, you know, it's one of them things that like it's only but so much you can do because you know the noise ordinance at certain times, whatever. But like, I mean, fuck them, right? I mean, you know what I mean. I pay property taxes like everybody else, man. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it, it is what it is, man. I yeah. never I never forget, man, when they when I the cops came to my house. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know they were valet parking cars, and I saw the, one of the neighbors. I don't know who the fuck it was, but they called the damn police because the valet company, uh, Lan- I use Lancaster Valet Company. They were part. I had a Halloween party. They were parking people's cars, and the cop he was like, um, you know, like whose house is this? And I was like, it's mine. He was like, this is your. Like he literally was there for like a couple. Of, like this is your house. I'm like, yeah, it's my house, man. Like, like what the fuck, bro? Like you know what I mean? So, and um. And I'm like, you know, I was, he was like, no, nah, I already talked to them. Everything is legit. It's cool. You know, just some neighbors were alarmed because people were, you know, in the street or whatever like that. Right. And they were getting in people's cars and parking them. I'm like, <laughs> the fucking professional valet parking company. But yeah, that's true, though. I mean, you do deal with that. It just depends, too, like, on the neighborhood. Right. You know what I mean? I know. It's so random. I'm just yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, fuck them. All right, let's have some fun. Okay, what's up? What you, what you, what you got from me? I see you got some drinks there, but. Oh, uh, is that right? mine? Is that mine? That's yeah, right there. What Look is that? that. That Rexel Blue Hawaiian Moscato. A blue Hawaiian Moscato. Yep. All right, I'm going to try it. This is, this is yours, you say, right? Come on. Come on. Y'all already know. Rexel Hawaiian Moscato. This is a real, rea- this is a real first time reaction, y'all. I'm doing whatever, too. I don't know this camera, hard. whatever, too. I feel like R. Kelly. Is this a camera? Is this, is this a camera? <laughs> You're killing me with this shit, man. Hold up. What you think? Tell the truth. Wow. True. That's good. Uh-huh. No, seriously, that's really good. Damn. I tried really hard, you know. What's the alcohol content? Twelve percent. Are you serious? This is well. Really, yo, this is really, really good, man. This is really good. Damn. Yeah, bro. Mm. All right, so you messing with it? 
I really like this. Perfect. Oh my god, is that my bottle? Can yep. Yep. Oh, you're in it. Light up. Mm. It lights up. Yep. Oh my god. Retzel by Umbrella. That's funny. That's actually my security's name, Retzel. <laughs> Shout out to security guard. Shout out to Retzel, man. That's <laughs> funny, man. Retzel by Umbrella. Oh my god, that's really good, though, Umbrella. Let, let, I'm, listen, I'm, I mean, I know this is my interview, but let me just say I'm super proud of you too, man. Like I'm really, really proud of you, man. Thank you. I'm definitely proud of you, man. Like, you know, a lot of people don't want to want to, like I said, like in the hood, you don't want to give people their credit, man. But you know, you work hard, man. Yes. You work very hard to 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 do and to be where you are, man. And I just want to say that, man. I'm extremely proud of you, man. You Thanks, doing your you doing your thing. We go back. I'm Real. talking back. Back back. I'm talking about back back. BET Awards back. Like we go back. Like 10 back. years ago. Yeah, back, literally. Girl. Like we go back back. Yo, this is my dog, man. <laughs> so when Umbrella called me and told me if she, if she can do an interview, I promised her, man, when I come to the USA, I said, I'm gonna call you and I'll be here and I'm here for a week. And he be gone, y'all. He be literally. gone. And I promised her, man, I did that for her. That's my dog, man. Period. Y'all make sure y'all watch Umbrella. Check out Umbrella, man. She out here working hard, man. Bro, you out there Boston and Columbia, so you want to post this interview so I get them followers? Hell yeah, I post I need the Columbia. I need them Columbia followers. I post you. You got to put the Spanish subtitles on the rest Oh, of hell. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, they're watching. You put the Spanish subtitles on it, yo. Oh, shit, that'd be cold. Man, you'll have a whole different audience, man. I'm oh, serious. You get, this you get, one. You get you get Spanish subtitles on your on your uh on your content. Right. right? You'll, get, you'll get man, you'll get mad followers, man. And I get my people's man like to, to tag it, like Fat oh, Fibonacci, man. Shout out to my boy on. Big Wolf, man. You know what I mean? I make sure I follow Big Wolf on TikTok too, man. He 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 out there doing it too, man. Oh, He's an right. influencer, man. We about to be in the US, y'all, and in <laughs> Columbia, all right? Literally, man. <laughs> Alright, so you gotta tell us how. What's the most you spent on jewelry? Mm. Oh my, you about to get me robbed. You trying to get me robbed, and bro, God damn. <laughs> can I show you? Instead, instead of saying it out loud, can I show yeah. you? Okay, girl, I'll let you show oh me. My That's God. fine. Where the fuck is my That's phone fine. at? That's fine. Where's my right. phone? Let me see my phone real quick. Can somebody get my phone? Because I want to know. Oh. Because every time I see him, look at it. Let me show her. Let me show her. Because I don't. Hey, y'all, there ain't nothing cheap. Hey, you trying to, try to get me robbed. I ain't you listening. Oh my God. Why, you smart, though. Because people be like, oh, do 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 on the carpet like, do 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 y'all really about to tell the whole world. Nah, I can't do it all. All right, why are you showing me? Oh, man. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Make sure y'all come with him, man. Make sure y'all come with them motherfucking receipts, man. You told Niggas me out here, yo. Yeah. You told me before. That's our secret though. We can't. We can't. I ain't I ain't got no money. I ain't got it. You said I ain't got no money. I have no I have no I have zero where is this a camera? I have zero dollars right now. Okay. Zero. Zero dollars. I have no money. The phone. I have no money. It's not even my phone. I don't even know whose phone it is. I ain't got it. I ain't got no money. None. No money. All right, y'all, so Mike survived my get to know you. Let the fans get a little update on your life. But when we come back, is he going to be able to survive this tipsy interview? I don't know. We about to see. So go refill them cups, and we'll be right back. Retzel Wines by Amberella comes in a variety of flavors, freshly crafted and guaranteed to bring out your sexy. Now back to the show. Let's have some fun. We're moving into the tipsy interview now. Okay. We're getting tipsy. Describe Mike on a drunk night. Oh shit! Are you serious? Oh, I need to know. Where I'm going. So this is this is when I get drunk. Listen, when I get drunk, I like to dance. I For like real? To, yeah, I never go. You dance. I, I don't dance. That's the crazy part. Like I don't. I, but I'll be yo. I'll be in there really doing shit, man. I'll be doing shit. I ain't got no business doing. But I like to dance. So when I'm drunk, I like to dance. You know, some people get drunk, they get violent and all that. Yeah, they me. do. I'm like a happy person, man. Oh my like, God, I feel like you want to tell me you get violent. No, nah, I don't get violent, man. You I'm happy drunk. drunk. I'm happy drunk. I, I, like love, to, I just want to dance, man, and, and, and just, you know what I mean, have fun. Me too. But if I'm not all drunk, right. I'm just sitting down there, I'm chilling, I'm watching everybody else have a good time. I'm actually a laid back person, man. You but are. But when, when I'm drunk, though, I, I, I really want to really get it in. I just want to be a part of that dance floor. I really want to get it in. Okay, so what's the wildest thing you done drunk? Oh shit, Bacardi One Fifty One. Yo, 
You know Hardee's oh, on Patrick Street? Yeah. Yo, man, I didn't even know I could do the butterfly. I went, listen, I was in the motherfucking Hardee's on 151. I swear to God, listen, and my cousin, listen, I wish my cousin was here to tell you. I was, I was in the Hardee's Patrick Street drive through man, and I was drinking 151, and, uh, and I, would, I actually didn't even believe it. they actually filmed it, man, and videoed it. But I, man, I, I, I was doing a butterfly. I didn't know I could do that. But you were still dancing. Oh, I was dancing like a champion, but I was, I was really, really dancing. Yeah, it was crazy. But right. I mean, that's just what I do, man. I don't, I don't, I don't like take my clothes off and go streaking or none of that weird yeah. shit. You know what I mean? But that was one of the, the craziest things. So I you did. still think when you're drunk? Yeah, of course. I, think. <laughs> I like to be conscious, man. Great. I like to be conscious, okay. man. Yeah, I like to be conscious, man. What about you? All right. What? The wildest? Yeah, what's the wildest? Oh, God. Here I do. What's the wildest thing you did? I feel like... Oh, shit. It, it, oh, shit. Hold on. Put on the spot camera. You know what it was? Hey, you said this is a real raw show. This is, none of this shit's edited or scripted, man. This is an on-the-spot question. You're right. But wildest thing. It's not thing. scripted. And what was you drinking? I think I was skinny dipping. I think I was dripping. I think I was drinking everything. Damn. That's because I was out of town. It was one of those jungle juice type, type things. Yeah, I think I was drinking tequila, and mm. but I wonder if it's skinny dipping when you had your private pool. Yeah, me I and even, my I bestie even, went away for my birthday. I don't even open. I didn't even open my pool, man, because it's, it's hard. Because you know it's a lot to maintain a pool, so I didn't even open yeah. my pool, man, because I'm not here. You ain't here. Yeah, it's it's a lot to maintain my pool, man. Mm -hmm. So that's why I didn't have no no pool parties or nothing like that in like the past two years, man. Because it's I'm not here enough for me to open up my pool At and all. maintain it and shit like that too. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Oh man, I feel like I had should have had a wildest night, mm -hmm. a wilder night than that. Mm. Wow, real wild. Anything. I don't think I've never been skinny dipping in my life. Never. Oh, you gotta try. It feels great. Yeah, I will. I ain't gonna leave in my hair or nothing. I'm just like free. Like, oh. Wow. I remember somebody jumped in the pool and their their uh their they had a wig, and it uh and it came off. That was pretty crazy. That was crazy. Were you drunk or sober when we saw it? I, no, I was I was sober. I was uh, sober, and the shit came off. Whatever they jumped up the diving board, and the way they hit their water, their, their weave yeah. had uh, the weave had um, uh, I mean not the weave, the came wig. Off. Yeah, the wig it came off and shit, man. Yeah, that's the worst. That is crazy. The wig was floating, and then she was like embarrassed or whatever. But I mean, it is what it is. It, <laughs> can you can you count on your fingers how many times you've been drunk? Yeah, can I don't have you? Any, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been drunk. I mean, I've been drunk. Less than 10 times? No, no, more than 10 times. I've been drunk more than 10 times. So you can't count on your more, fingers. Yeah, more, well, more, no, 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 yeah, more than 10 times I've been drunk. I've been I've been drunk more than 10 times. We're talking about like my whole life. I mean, yeah, more than 10 times. But I mean, I'm not like a big alcoholic type person. You I know what I mean? I say alcoholic. Yeah, because I, like I just like to be full. I like to be aware of my surroundings. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I have a lot to lose. And you never know who's watching. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. I like to be, you know I mean? I like to be aware of my surroundings because all it takes is just one minor mistake. You know what I'm saying? So. But if I'm with, you know, like my friends, I'm in a comfortable environment, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like if I'm in like a, a hotel or something like in Vegas, whatever, you're not going to one that's different. But like, yeah. I just like to be, I like to be fully aware and conscious of my surroundings. And I mean, I like to always be on point and just watch, you know, what's going on around me. So you're the person that goes to the clubs and buys all the bottles and don't drink the bottles? No, nah, I, I don't do that. I don't do that. Oh. I don't do that. Only reason why I buy bottles, like when I go to the club, um, is because, you know, like, you know, you have that persona, first mm -hmm. of all, but then I don't want to be standing up because a lot of the, like a lot of real clubs, you know, you're standing up if you don't have bottle service, whatever, like that, too. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, when I go there, I want to I want to, you know, sit down, relax. You know, what I mean, I'm, I'm more I'm more of like the the what is it called? The host. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I like I like for people to have a good time. I like to see people relaxing. I like the people I like to see people getting along. You know yeah. what I mean? So I'm, I'm like the one that brings everybody together. So even when I come, you know what I mean? I like, I bring my friends, like sometime we'll like all just come over and sit and cook out and grill or like we all might go to the movies or whatever because I don't get to see them. So I'm the unifier. You know, I bring everybody together, man. So, but the the, the alcohol thing, I mean, that's just going to be at any party. I mean, that's just, yeah. alcohol is just always involved. It's going to have alcohol forever. Right. And that's my new shit right there. I love, that's really, I'm serious, y'all. That is really that's good wine. Damn, that is really good wine. I'm serious. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna serve that at my restaurant. That is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, that's right. You got a restaurant. Yeah, go ahead and take that. Yeah, I'll put that in there, man. I'll, absolutely. I have the whole. I have everybody in that motherfucking neighborhood drunk. The security guard, Retzel, mm -hmm. come get some Retzel. Retzel, come get some That'd Retzel. Be the first customer. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, bro. You know, I feel like mm -mm, asking you this. So, you ever had a one night stand? You of were course. drunk. 
I've had a one night stand when I was sober. <laughs> do you feel on, do you feel bad after the next day? Or are you no, like, no, nah, I know what it was, so it is what it is. No, because I, I perform on every play, so I don't feel bad. You know what I mean? I'm a callback type of guy. So I don't I don't I don't feel bad. You know what I mean? It is what yeah. it is. I mean sex sex the way that it is now versus how it was back in the day, it's it's a lot different, you know, like when you older, like, you know, sex is just one of them type of things, whatever, too. So, you know, looking back on my life, you know what I mean? And the things that I, you know, that I've I've done, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like one of them things like, you know, shit happens. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not really into no groupies or nothing like that. Ne- that never been my style. So anybody that knows me knows that or whatever. Because, you know, you got to be careful, especially like mm-hmm. nowadays, whatever. And always use protection. But, yeah, I mean, if somebody get on there and tell me they ain't never had no one night stand, they, they lying. Like they blind to you. I always speak the real. I ain't no reason to lie, man. Like I'm, I'm definitely, definitely one of them type people. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit up here and tell y'all I ain't had no one night stand. I'd be full fucking lying, like literally. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I'm a call. I just want to stress, I'm a callback person. They always call back. <laughs> I love the confidence. Like, oh I my god, it. man. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fat nigga representing. <laughs> All right. So would you prefer? Would you prefer a one night stand here and there, having fun, or fucking the same woman for the rest of your life? No, nah, I'll fuck the same woman like okay. for the rest of my life. Yeah, when you get older, it comes a point in time that that doesn't mean anything no more. Does that get boring? Yeah, get, yeah you, nah, nah. Because if you if you with that one person, I mean, you got to do stuff, obviously, you know what I mean, like to spice it up, you know what I mean? Like, you can't just, it can't be one of them type of things like... You know, like, oh, here we are, we're in the bed, it's the same position, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You gotta just do stuff randomly, you know what I mean? Like, hey, listen, ain't nobody looking, let me put it in on the wall type shit, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm crazy like that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not talking about, like, at the airport type shit, but I mean, you gotta do stuff, though, to keep you, to keep that, you know what I mean, that, that, that persona. So, you know, when that comes along and that happens, I definitely, definitely, you know, I would embrace it. You know yeah. what I mean? I would embrace it, but yeah. When you're younger, though, I mean, you just want to go hard on, on anything moving, though, you know what I mean? But... Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, speaking of drunk. Oh shit. Have you oh, ever been behind a bar? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I've owned a bar, but uh. And nah, still I'm do. Not, I'm not a. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a, a professional as far as like mixed drinks or nothing like that. I can't. I can't really say. Go down. No. Nah. All but, right. I mean, well, you can, you can. You can. You gonna teach me? Mike. This time to Hold test up. you. We so you said I'm going to learn today. I'm going to learn today. Oh, okay. I'm going to learn today. Oh, shit. That's what's Not up. you about to go to Columbia shaking it up mm-hmm. behind the bar and the yeah. clubs and the restaurant. I want to learn. I want to learn. All right. So we're going to play Garnish or Tarnish. When we get back, guys, we're about to fill up our cups. So, and y'all too. So we'll be right back. This episode of Amber Rose World features Smirnoff Vodka. Indulge in this natural vanilla flavor to sweeten any cocktail. Now back to the show. And we're back. Mike about to show me what he about to do behind this bar. So we have all his ingredients laid out. And I'm about to just hand him the shaker and he's about to go from here. You Yo, ready? I, no, absolutely not. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Like, literally. I'm used to being right. served. So this is new for me. You right. So you got you to gotta walk me through it, whatever. All right. We got to start off with the shaker. Okay. All right. Ice already in it for you. All right. Perfect. And we said okay. vanilla vodka. Oh, so everything okay. I pick, we about to make that for real. Yes. Oh, okay. Ready? Uh-uh, yeah. nope, nope, you got to do everything. Wait, how much I'm supposed to pour in here? Hmm. I'm, I'm, what am I supposed to pour in here? I'll tell you what's up. Oh. That's good. Mm. That's good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Y'all know we do it the ratchet way. Y'all be using a little cup. No, pour. I know my eyes. Yo, if this shit's good, this could be a, this might be a real motherfucking drink, man. I hope it is. Ready? Yeah. The blue cure I'm gonna get that blue you about to put in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. More? You think that's good? What you think? What you think? Let's look. Fuck, I don't know. Let's hit it one good. more time. All right. Man. I don't know what the fuck I'm. That's always good. Just hit it one more time. Bang. Oh, oh, that's strong. It's strong already? That is strong. All right, pineapple juice. I love pineapple juice. <laughs> that Me would be too. So, that would be so good off. I drunk too much right now, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour it. Where I'm to go start? ahead. Just go ahead and drink some. No one has ever drank the juice. On the episode, might as well. I can't, I just want to hear you the whole thing? All right, good. We we'll don't need all of it. We we'll don't need all of it. Oh, that's good. Good? Yep. That's dope, too. That means something. Yep. That's the only thing dope. I put Because I should be having that coffee now. I don't have time for that. Yeah, dope's good. Strawberry parade. Damn. 
Yeah. I can't go. I can't even go back and change my shit now, mm-mm, man. Mm-mm. That's bad. Damn, I didn't know you was gonna put all these in a. In a oh shit, it's dripping on me. Hold on. Is it? Yeah. Dang. There you go. See, fix that back. That's way. good. I can do some freaky shit with that. That shit is good. <laughs> not on no R. Kelly shit though. I don't know. Straight up home. I'm definitely not. Is that a camera? Is this a camera? Is that okay? <laughs> Got me on this R. Kelly shit like with Gail King. Home y'all killing me with not this. Not with <laughs> Wait, I should fly. I feel like I should put a little more in there. All right, whatever you want. All Yo, right. I, I, listen, I've it's never good. done this at all. Like, this is. So, while we about to shake this, right, mm-hmm. you get to be in the hot seat and ask me anything you want to ask me. Ask me anything I want to ask you? Yep. So, um, let me see. Um, how old was you when you took your first drink? What was your age? Oh, God, I'm going to tell my mom. Um. What I, what I just shake this like this? Yep. Did it turn in it? Dang, my first sip of drink, y'all. I think I was not was yeah. I nine or twelve, but it was beer. Nine or twelve? Yeah. No. <laughs> Nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you must now look at me. I'm a going to jet. Nine, nine or twelve. Like, oh my god, I told my mom. What was your first drink? Well, your mom don't watch this. Beer. Best she ever. Oh my god, mom. She was. She is totally lying. She, she did not <laughs> take a motherfucking drink at the age of nine. Oh my god, we going to jail. I'm just telling you right now. No, you those. know what happened? It was beer. It was beer. But I got messed up. Me and my friend at the time were going, we went to a party. I know that sounds crazy. Went to a party. And her mom was letting it drink. And I think that's what happened. My mom was snapping when she went out with Tipsy. Oh my god. And now this is cold. I think yeah. this is ready. This is it ready? Cold. All right, yeah. let's go. Let's pour out. Let's pour out. Ready? Right here. Oh, the cup? Okay. Oh, let's, see, ooh, let's see what the color is. <laughs> That is being great. Oh. Yo, that shit's great. Wait, that who's in my cup? Oh, I, I got good. tasted too. Yo, what if it's good though? That shit, why is it great? Did you put that damn strawberry puree in there? Yeah, but why is it great, huh? I you mix like, that red puree good, good, with that it. blue. If it's good, I'm going to name it. Hold on. Right here, you need, you need the, uh, we need cherries. You said garnish with cherries. I didn't, I didn't know it was going to do that. Oh, well. Bro, you did it. Ready? All right, take a sip. Ready? For real? Got to. Yo, if I die, hold up, listen. If I, oh my God. Hold on. It's not bad, dog. It's this not. color throw you off. Yo. All right, so what you gonna name it? Well, that is. The color throw me off, bro. Come on yeah, down. That's really good. Hold on. You threw me off with the strawberry, but it's actually good. Um. Which one name it? Hmm. Dr. Midnight. Dr. Midnight. Yep. All right, yeah. Dr. Midnight Mike Nasty. Yep, Dr. Midnight. <laughs> we got All it. right, y'all. This, this shit is great. Grab this. It's really good. Crack an ingredient. Amber Bella, Mike Nasty. Mm. Thanks for watching. Keep watching because you don't know who I'm having next week. Appreciate y'all, man. That shit's good, though. It's man, great. That's actually Amazing. really good, though. Look at this color. Mm-hmm. I do. Salute. We muscle. We 